All right guys, so I have a new fish friend joining my house today. I wanted to make a video on him. Now I haven't set up this video in any way. I'm just going to kind of talk about what's going on. I just brought him in here recently, so I'm kind of deciding what to do with his tank. Now this is the tank he was in. I had a friend that moved away and uh, he couldn't take the fish with him. So I said I would take care of his fish. So now we have this guy in my house. His name is Morton. Uh, he's about probably a year old. I think they, I think that my friend owned him for like probably six months, maybe maybe more than that, maybe ten months. Uh, so he's probably about a year or so old, and he's got this nice little tank. <coughs> now it's missing a couple things. I just brought it into my house recently, and I'll talk about what we're missing in a second because betas do need certain things. But as you can see here, a very nice little tank. It's actually set up awesome. I really like it. The light on top here, I can switch between full bright or this kind of cool blue light where he looks pretty cool in and it's kind of like a, it's a night light that you can leave on and just kind of have a dim blue glowing light. And it makes the tank look pretty cool. So here he is. As you can see, he looks healthy and happy. Now the tank is missing two things currently. I just brought it in, I gotta set it up fully like I said. Uh, he had a air bubble filter before I believe, not like a hang on back filter or anything. So I got him a hang on back filter to put on and I also have a heater, which I need to find, where did I put it? Yep, I found it. So I do have a heater here that'll fit in there and it's gonna it's a high door so we'll probably put that in there uh, I'm gonna see if I need it you need to keep betas over 75 I think they need around 77 to 83 I believe that's the range off the top of my head uh, so you usually you do need a heater usually in a beta tank and then I also have this little hang on back filter which I'm thinking of putting on the side over here my only problem is this tank looks so nice as it is right here. It's nice and enclosed as you can see a nice little glass lid we have here with the little light on top. <coughs> if I want to put on the uh, filter I'm going to have to change up some stuff. So let me take off this light for a second. I'll leave it back there maybe just to add some light to the video. Take off this top. And what I'm thinking is a different setup. I could add this filter to the side here. And it's a little nano filter, a nice little nano filter that'll do very well. It's like a real actual filter. It's not like some little junk. It's just a small nano sized. And then I have this other light, which I could put right here as you can see it'll go right up there on top of the filter and then when I plug that light in let me switch out my lights this one also I believe has the full white or blue so you know that doesn't look much worse and then I could plug in the filter and have a real filter for him and then I could put in the heater as well so a little bit crooked light on the top but I think that's the safest way to do it that way the light can't fall either way and uh, it's pretty much stuck there really well the other light didn't have these extenders so this this light fits good <coughs> so I think that's what I gotta do because even though the other way looked slightly better slightly more you know sleek let's say you know it's we're gonna need the filter and we're gonna need the heater too and when the heaters in there it's gonna have a cord that's gonna have to come out so that old old uh, top and light wouldn't have sat flat anyways so I think that's how I'm gonna set him up and see how he does but I just wanted to make a video I just brought him home and uh, show you guys the new little beta we're taking care of and he's my pet now, but he is always welcome to go back to the original owner should they want him back. So we'll take great care of him in the meantime. But that's Morton and the little beta tank and how I'm going to get it all set up for him. If you have any questions, let me know.
Otherwise, happy pet keeping. And we'll see y'all later. I'll go ahead and throw in just a little bit of food. And we'll finish the video off. We'll see if he wants any or if he notices it. Oh, there he goes. Yep. See if we can get 